A very good afternoon to you, Jennifer and Peter. Jennifer, I want to start with you. Um, what kind of complaints have you guys found with long-term insurance? Good afternoon. So most of the complaints are about claims that have been declined. The only difference that's really occurred this year is that there were more complaints about a retrenchment and loss of income um, benefits that were not paid. Now, Peter, the pandemic is obviously a very broad reason for the return of the money. So what exactly has been some of the specific reasons that com consumers have got money back, at least from a short-term short point of view? Um, as you stated earlier on, Morena, um, when we look at last year, COVID-19 um, impacted a lot of our statistics. And particularly in our office, we had an increase with regards to travel insurance claims and business interruption claims that were particularly related to COVID-19. And of course, the rest of the complaints would be the ordinary complaints that we would have as all the time, um, your homeowners claims, your motor vehicle accident claims, theft, all of those. Jennifer, has this forced insurance companies to then relook the way it is they do things? Well, like everybody else, I think um, insurers have to look at things differently. Yeah. I couldn't hear Peter's answer, um, but on the long term side, obviously insurers are working remotely. And particularly during the second wave, um, that did cause some delays in dealing with particularly funeral complaints. And generally, funeral complaints are fairly um, urgent because you have to bury the person. And particularly during COVID, you had to bury people very quickly. So that has caused problems, um, service-related problems. And I think insurers have to look at that aspect. Obviously, we're, we're about just over a year into this lockdown, into this pandemic. It is still causing a great deal of, 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 of chaos and havoc um, in, in the South African society. But have insurance companies in some way found a way to deal with these issues a little easier? Or is it just continuing to get worse, of course, as people continue to die and as we're dealing with third waves and different variants and such? I think insurers are dealing with it as best they can. Um, but I, I'm just very concerned that the third wave uh, is going to be something like the second wave, which certainly increased the number of complaints in the office, and we're still dealing with some of those complaints. So, yeah, is hoping that insurers are gearing up for a possible third wave. Peter, with short-term insurance, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to assume that it, it doesn't have to pay too much as with long-term insurance, um, but, like, but what kinds of amounts are we talking here um, in terms of the 300 million in total that has had to go back? Is it, is it contributing largely to it or it's just a smaller amount? Um, compared to the RT hours is slightly smaller and, and that is uh, purely because on average your life policies, for example, will tend to have larger values compared to your short-term insurance claims. And our contribution to that total figure is 120 million, which was a, an increase on last year's figures um, of approximately 20%. Is, it, is there an expectation, Peter, that this could get worse as this pandemic continues to go on? Because of, obviously experts are talking about how we could be in, 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 in this particular situation with, with, with the pandemic for quite some time now. I'm, I'm talking about a year, perhaps even two to go. Look, from, from our perspective, um, taking into account that nobody knows where exactly COVID is going to lead us, um, if we look at our uh, stats in, in, in particular, you will notice that there have been differences. In, in certain instances, there have been increases, like I mentioned, um, business interruption and travel insurance claims related complaints that increased. On the other hand, you have because there is less driving as a result of uh, lockdown regulations and things like that, your motor vehicle accidents uh, took a nose dive. Um, for example, again, if you think of um, contents, home contents claims, um, because people are spending more time at home, your burglary and theft claims reduced as well. So it, it's a mixed bag depending on the particular aspect that one would be looking at. 
Just before I let both of you guys go, Jennifer, I'm going to end this off with you. Has there been any cases of perhaps people trying to fraudulently uh, get claims and, and get monies when, in fact, they did not deserve? Um, there always is fraud, uh, uh, unfortunately. Yeah. And not all those fraudulent complaints come to or claims come to our office, but there have been instances where insurers have refused claims on the basis of fraud. Um, where, for instance, somebody has said that a particular person is a family member when they're not, um, in the case of funeral policies, or where um, they're incorrect information given deliberately to an insurer. So there, there are cases of fraud. Um, not all of those land up um, in our office. Of course. Deputy Ombudsman for Long-Term Insurance, Jennifer Price, and Short-Term uh, Senior Assistant of Short-Term Insurance, uh, Peter Nkuna. Thank you so much, both of you, for your time.